everybody welcome back so here we are with another welly merc but funnily enough they sent me two more watches they are rebranding as wm watches they're going by wrist movement going forwards all of their branding on what they're currently selling still says welly merc but i'll help get that word out they are now going by wrist movement but they do have some new models out that i was intrigued to check out that's why i was open to getting them i don't obviously make any money off of these they just sent me the watches to review so as you know i'll give them an honest opinion the last two they sent me i liked one i didn't really like the other but let's check this one out you obviously have seen based on the thumbnail which one it is but Bam, it's their moon phase. This watch is really different from what I've seen previously. It is the WM142, that's the model number. It is a 41 millimeter watch and it is an automatic mechanical watch. Popping it out of the case here. First impressions, really, really cool dial. I went with the blue, it does also come in a black dial, but black watches to me for things that are a little more complicated on the background, I like real plain black dials, but for something like a moon phase and other watches that have things that you're looking at on the face, I don't love the way black looks. So I went with this blue, and I think blue is also cool for a moon phase style watch because it's the color of the sky for what we look at most of the time. Um, but so yeah, this this is their moon phase watch. It is not a screw down crown, but popping it open, I'm gonna show you right off the bat. This first position moves the moon. You have a what looks like a day and night kind of position here. There's two moons, so obviously that would be a, a, a new moon, I believe. And then you would get it to there, that's a full moon. And I'm not great with moon phases in general, so please fill me in more on the the actual way to move them I, i'm gonna set this separately off camera by looking up the proper current phase of the moon but i didn't think that was completely relevant to this review right off the bat but then the second position there is just setting your time real nice overall looks uh let's dive into just the overall specifications of this watch it is 12 millimeters thick it does look a little thicker than it actually is but that is good to know it is uh, a 7200a movement i'm not super familiar with that but i do believe it's very similar to an nh style movement it is a th synthetic sapphire the bandwidth is 20 millimeters and it tapers down to 18 millimeters it is the 41 millimeter without the crown case diameter and lug to lug is 48 millimeters so this is definitely a sizable watch i don't think this is going to fit a lot of people who don't have large wrists but let's get a little closer into that face and talk a little bit more about first impressions of this watch and then we'll wear it check out the loom and go from there so here we are zoomed in a little bit closer on that face it is hard to see the blue because it is kind of a dark blue uh it is a midnight black is what it calls the other face but i would call this like a, a midnight blue because it is a very dark color and if you could see let me see if i can get a right angle to show you there is a you kind of see it there a the what makes that moon on the bottom a darker color is there is a darker piece of plastic or some sort over it to separate the two colors. So it makes it even darker looking. Up here is kind of the true blue of the watch. And then down here it's a little darker because that's where it has the separation on it. But you do have a nice little red pip there on the end of the second hand. I'm guessing the loom will probably be the moons and the hour minute hand and the hour markers. Maybe the stars, that would be cool. I'm not totally sure, but we will check that out shortly. Uh, this does have 50 meters of water resistance but the crown does not screw down it does hand wind though which is nice and as you saw before popping it open let me get that for you right there it does hack which is really nice love a movement that hacks uh, it does have an exhibition case back here you can't really see much you know it's not really showing off a lot but it is nice to have a see-through back on a a wash like this there's nothing else really of note that the website points out with this watch so just on first look i really kind of like the way the stars look the blue is is quite lovely to me i'm not crazy about the band i wish this was on something maybe a leather or something similar to like it does look like it tried to be kind of like a speedmaster bracelet i don't love this design in general but some people love it so i'm not going to fault the watch for that that's just my personal opinion on it but all in all, really, really cool face, and that's what drew me to this. I know I keep talking about the face over and over again, but for a lot of us, that's what you look for in a watch. But let's check out that loom. I'm going to put it on the wrist first, and then we'll go from there. 
Here it is on the wrist. I'm not going to size the bracelet exactly for me. It's a little loose because I think I'm going to give this away on this channel at a later time. So I don't want to go through just removing it to put it all back on. But as you can see, it definitely does wear, you know, somewhat large. I have, I think, around a seven and a half inch wrist and it, it, it is quite sizable. But it is a very nice looking watch. It does, you know, if I was just sitting here looking at it, that really kind of jumps out to me as quite a beautiful looking face. That blue is reflecting so nicely and I could only imagine what this looks like out in the sun. I haven't worn it outside yet during the day, but it it's a really cool looking watch. And I think on the wrist, it's, it's a conversation piece. These Welly Mercs so far, or WM Watch Movement watches soon to come, are so far really intriguing to me they are a brand that i knew nothing about prior to a month or two ago yeah i would love to redo the bracelet i don't love it but other than that on the wrist this is a really really nice watch here's the loom as you can see it's real nice it's a lighter color green than i was expecting on camera it looks like the two moons are the same color but the bottom moon that's under kind of the darker plastic is slightly darker in person on here it looks the same but the stars are lit up everything about this loom is fantastic really really like it and it's a cool design so a plus on the loom so final impressions of this watch i was really blown away by it when i saw it on paper when i i said i would like to review it but in person it really delivers it obviously has some things that i wish you would change and are changeable like the bracelet but the face itself, the way it wears, the loom, what do you get for this watch? Price point, I believe on the website is around $160, but I'm sure that's going to change. Might be a little less on Amazon, AliExpress. But for a mechanical watch that has a moon phase, whether it is exactly scientific or not, I'm sure you all will pick it apart. I really think it's cool looking. And... You could spend a lot more money than this on other AliExpress type watches that don't have nearly as much nice looks or detail or if you're a lunar fiend like I am and you love moon watches, this kind of checks off the boxes for me. So I think this is a really nice watch piece, piece of watch, however you want to say it. Uh, it's been a long day, so apologies in advance. But um, this is a really cool piece, and I do recommend checking these out. I think when they rebrand re to WM watches, they'll get even better, and they're clearly looking at our feedback because that's what they said is the, the reason behind their name change is that people didn't understand what Welly Merck was, and I, I did point that out in my first video reviewing them. So I'm glad they're taking that stuff to heart. Obviously, I don't get paid for this stuff, so if I hated this watch, I would tell you. But I don't. I think it's cool. I love the cases that the watches come in. I'm happy to now have a bunch of these because I have used them traveling. Uh, a plus. I think this watch could be a little cheaper, sure. But for what you get, I'm really happy with it. Check these out.